This is a 2009 Acura TSX and I will be trying to replace the fuel injectors. So it's a little bit different. But there's a beauty cover here, which is this guy. It's got the two 10 millimeter bolts on it and then this bracket right here is right there. These are also 10. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try to remove this guy and then unsnap it from from these guys from the clips and then this is a 12 that also has to come out so let's see how it goes yeah that was a little bit difficult to bring loose but also be prepared to have a, a towel handy because there's gonna be probably some gasoline squirting away so Definitely keep an eye out for that. Let's take this out. By the way, I've never done this before, so... <laughs> I should probably watch the whole thing and avoid the mistakes I make. Okay, so the fuel injectors are in this, and you can kind of see them right there, this guy. So, I have to remove this plastic by pulling on the tab, on each tab here, Just pushing this tab up, and then kind of pull this up. So, okay, so next up, these guys have to uh, unsnap from the position here, so this one's giving me a little bit of trouble. Make sure you don't pull from the wires because you don't want to break them. Damn it. So it's out. This thing I kind of unclipped again from these guys. And then this thing pulls out. This is out. This is what the injectors look like. They look nasty as fuck. Holy shit. Show you what the new ones look like. Put my coffee here. This is what the new ones look like. And it is recommended to put some transmission fluid on the rubber hose. So it doesn't get stuck for future use, but this car is a 2009 and it has 130, almost 140,000 miles on it. So I highly doubt I'm going to be replacing these again anytime soon. But let's see. Does this just come out? There's a clip here. So, this is what this clip looks like. Ooh, ooh, that's a lot of gasoline. All right, I'll plug that back down. Grab the towel. Ah. Yeah, it was definitely Considerable amount of gasoline. I should have been prepared for that. To the new one. Old one, new one. And I'm still gonna go ahead and replace them to see if it fixes my vibration issues that I've been having with this car. There it is. Just kind of slides in. And then I'm literally just pulling this. But on top of the towel. Takes some effort, but 
wiggle it right enough, see how much gasoline pours out. And there's still a lot of it. It's three down. And want to go rough idling, which varies depending on whether or not I'm using the AC or if I'm in neutral or in gear and I'm fairly suspicious that it's my transmission that is going out because when I purchased this vehicle at approximately 218,000 miles I checked the transmission fluid and it was dirty as hell so I think it was safe to say that the person, I'm the third owner, the two people that owned the vehicle before me were not really interested in taking care of it. So I did two transmission fluid changes, not flushes, and I had to do a third one because I took it to have the CV axles replaced and the seal broke when I by the time I got it to my house. So that was pretty annoying. All right, the injectors are in. This rag is wet with gasoline. And it smells too. Careful. Okay, so we're lined up. As you can see to go inside and then this is where the harness will plug in which will be these guys right here so now just push in a little bit little by little and it looks like it's in which is pretty cool so then I'm just gonna Plug the harnesses in. Make sure that you push this back on top here so that it's stable. So there's that harness three and harness four. And then this little guy. Well, not a little guy, but a little bit of trouble. There we go. Now we got these two 12s, which will bolt back on here it's crazy that the fuel system just is hanging on by these two little bolts and tight I don't want to make them too tight I don't want to strip anything and I have stripped shit before and this thing so yeah I would say they're pretty pretty tight on there so here goes nothing. Okay, took a little bit for the gas to reach the engine, but Well, it didn't catch on fire. That's good. Still a lot of vibration though. Yeah. I'm gonna take it for a spin and see how it performs. No code so far. Check engine lights, which is good. But the problem I've been having with the car is it vibrates a lot during idle when it's on drive. And I know it still vibrates while it's in neutral, but it doesn't get transferred to the chassis as much because it's in neutral. But I still feel the same vibration the same, not the same intensity, but I can, I can still tell that the vibration is still there. So, 
since it kind of fluctuates when I'm sitting at a red light and the AC goes on and out and the compressor and it kind of varies on the levels that it, it will do it for I was hoping that it was the fuel injectors because I've already replaced all of the mounts the engine mounts two engine mounts and the transmission mount in the back um, I have replaced all the AC compressor because it went bad and the vibration was happening before that as well so I can uh, safely say it has nothing to do with that so it kind of uh, kind of sucks that this wasn't the problem it kind of drives with the same power I would say yeah it's about the same power I'm not really noticing any more responsiveness or something I won't know until I take it out on the road though, on the highway. For now, however, I would say that the issue has not been resolved. Let me see if I can come to a full stop here. I performs. Yeah, and it's definitely still there. So, I guess this is good maintenance. good to do for maintenance it will not fix my idle next thing I'm gonna do is probably compression test and see how the engine health is because it does burn a little bit of oil as well so the next thing I'm suspecting is that the engine is a little bit worn um, but yeah that is a success as far as completing the job